We're back. We are back, guys. We are back. Back with another video, another episode, episode 11. Uh, pretty crazy to think that yeah, it's been 11 episodes since I started this uh, in turn 11 days. I want to talk about a few different things in this episode. I don't want it to be like the other ones. The other ones have sort of felt a bit, I don't know, a bit all the same, a bit generic, and I haven't really touched on like real. Uh, not personal in a way that it's bad, but personal issues and just like my actual deeper thoughts and what I'm actually thinking about uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, or at least, you know, most of the day. So I've written down here um, pretty much how my day was, just to cover that off, and it was pretty boring actually, to be honest. I really didn't do a whole lot like I've been doing. I... I worked a full day today because of certain things I had to do at work, certain things I had to get organised, and then I got, well, I got thrown a curveball just as I was about to leave, so I had to sort that out, which took a few phone calls and a detailed email, and then it wasn't about till 4.15 that I left, and then come home, ate some food, had a chicken and avocado toasty, which was pretty decent, I might add, pretty decent. Smashed down a tea and then went straight back to work. Uh, worked from 6 till 9.30, come home at 10. The actually only good thing that happened today, well not the only good thing, but the only exciting thing was that I got my dumbbells from Rogue Fitness. So thank you very much for them, thank you. Uh, already put them to use, did six sets of bicep curls just to wear them in a bit. And yeah, healthy weight, good weight, feels manageable and definitely I'll be able to use them for some sick exercises on the weekend which I will definitely partake in because uh, yeah I want to you know get more fit not just looking fit but fit by definition like someone who can actually you know <laughs> do more than 20 burpees without dying like I said uh, so yeah touching on what I was trying to allude to at the start I've kind of been thinking a lot and doing this I guess it sort of made me realize like you just got to do it like it doesn't matter if doesn't matter if no one watches these videos doesn't matter if 10 people watch these videos or 100 people you just got to start and I created a fitness page a while back and posted three uh, three photos on it and then just let it die out and I'm thinking whether or not I should rejuvenate that and use the same mentality and the same same actions in terms of just you know doing it instead of worrying about what people are going to think or worrying about how many likes it gets how many views it gets or worrying about whether I'll be good enough or whether or not it'll take off or whether or not it'll do well or whether or not I'll be able to do it as a career or make money out of it like I've just got to just physically just do the actual task like I'm doing with these, like I'm actually consciously making the effort no matter the time of day or night to full on do it and part of me being able to do all this stuff even with my creative stuff is to not work a second job I think for the last, let's say four months I've been working two jobs five days a week and it's not allowing me to do much else other than what I can get squeeze in between well, on some nights, 2am and 7am, which is pretty much just sleep anyway, so I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit hesitant about, not hesitant, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, shit, I'm losing a full-time job, which brings me steady income a week, and going to casual hours, which is not guaranteed, and in a volatile time like this, who knows what can happen, but I don't know, I've, I've just got to do it, like I actually just have to do it, there's no two ways about it, I don't think, I either do it, and do it well, and do it properly, and allow myself to have that freedom, and that time, and not be so harsh on myself about saving a thousand bucks a week, just because, you know, that's the right thing to be doing, or saving for a house, because that's what everyone's doing, or anything, I've just got to give myself that, permission and that license to bring it back a bit because I've been smashing it out as I said five days a week two shifts a week for the last four months and yeah that money's allowed me to you know get in a better position financially but I've sort of got to let that go and then focus on the stuff that 
will propel me further in life than just dollar figures because at the end of the day money comes and goes and yeah it's important as hell but you know it's not worth me being stuck at a job for the rest of my life well you know a bit extreme but just because I have to pay off a mortgage which I've um, signed off on just because I've felt the pressure externally I just don't think that's right and it's not right by me and I won't be happy in the future and then in turn I'll just end up sad and shitty so it's gonna happen soon yeah a little worried but I think on the other on the under the end of the spectrum I'm freaking super excited the, the two days that I was able to get off early put some time into fitness was amazing like I've yeah it was so good I just felt like I was actually physically doing something and I had the time where I didn't feel pressure that oh I had to short change it here or um, pull back on it or only do half an hour or not do it at all because I had other commitments and yeah it was really uh what's the word liberating liberating is that exact word yeah I just felt liberated come home smash a workout feel so good see some you know progression even though if it's a little bit and then you know go to work again it was not work come home eat work eat maybe not eat do a video go to bed because yeah not gonna lie i've been bloody tired as hell and it's taking its toll a little bit and i can't stay awake bloody past 10 o'clock if i'm at home and not fall asleep but that's sort of where i'm headed um yeah, I'm super keen, but yeah, there's also that like, mm, I've gotten used to earning two paychecks a week and going down to one seems a bit a bit risky, but look, as long as I'm earning money, I'm going to be fine. I don't think there's anything I have to worry about. i just got to focus on doing the tasks that need to be done. So putting two hours of my day into fitness, then doing art and creative stuff the rest of the day until I have to go to work at night. You know, I might be slower or a bit behind other people but i just really don't give a shit it's not you know i'm not running their race they're not running mine and yeah i'm gonna do what feels right to me and just go for it because at the end of the day you only get one life as cliche as that sounds and you have no choice but to make the most of it or else you end up running the risk of regretting not going after that dream or that job or that career path or that woman or person or boyfriend girlfriend anybody like you just cannot afford to regret anything in this life and that's massive for me i've i've yet to come across something that i've regretted and i hope it stays that way i hope i just attack everything with 100 percent energy ferocity braveness boldness and go after it because that's just me that's just how i'm made up and that's how i want to teach my kids one day to you know just go after it no matter what the no matter what the risk obviously you got to you know weigh up risks and pros and cons but yeah if you know you've got everything going your way and you don't have that much to risk except money then fuck it just do it that's what i say like yeah go for it life's too short to you know be insecure and hide behind certain things and make excuses you just yeah you can't afford to do it you just can't yeah definitely the way things are at the moment have sort of put everything into perspective a bit more and just i don't know force me into that um up against that wall and sort of like well yeah you've got time like what do you want to be doing and what should you be doing and yeah i've obviously you know listened to that some somewhat and it's you know, it's paying off um I'm enjoying the extra time and the extra slowdown of things to just understand what I want out of life and what I can be doing and then I've just got to reach my potential whether that's in the fitness industry creatively artistically physically even because um, yeah I want to get my body to a stage where I look freaking decent like I used to um not that I look bad but I'm just you know i want to go that extra level that i haven't been before and i think this new way of training this new style is definitely going to push me there and help me get there i've been weird yeah like i haven't been able to track my food or watch what i'm eating for the last you know four or five months since we've been in 
quarantine slash lockdown but the past few days especially this week I've been yeah I've been on it been using my fitness pal logging it logging it scanning it logging it watching what I'm eating tracking not giving into cravings like there's about nine cupcakes down on the bench in the kitchen and yeah do I want to eat them of course I do but I just can't substituting snacks that I'd rather snack on with other snacks which are pretty tasty but not as bad for you and it's just about adapting yeah it just really is about adapting and I think yeah life's a lot about adapting and how you choose to react to a certain situation whether you go one way or the other um, whether you do something about it or you complain about it whether you don't do anything or whether you do something and yeah I think something I'm becoming to realize a little bit more and I hope that I can you know keep on doing what I'm doing like these videos are a good start and I think that's why I started and like just as a method of practicing doing something every day regardless and yeah I think it's working yeah might be a bit choppy this video but you know I'm learning that's all we can do you know learn I'm not an expert at talking to camera but I'll edit it to make it look like it so I'm hoping to do the reaction to the Pablo Bill ice cream tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for that. Fingers crossed I can get it done. Actually, there's no really, there's no real excuse of why I can't. Stay tuned. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll fill you in another 24 hours. It's Friday tomorrow, so fuck yeah. Fry yay. I'm close to the pretty keen. It's been an interesting week, but we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there, so I'll talk to you tomorrow when it's Friday. See you guys.